Uh, one thing I struggled with early, early in my career was the, the subjectivity and the emotion around investing. And I really landed on quantitative investing because, uh, because the risk of falling in love with companies is so much lower. <laughs> And I, I think I learned that the hard way because I definitely fell in love with the first company that I researched and I thought, oh, this is too hard. Just give me some objective way to decide whether the company is good or not good. And, uh, and I think that's, that's going to be more in line with the way I think. Jupiter's Casino, that was the first company I researched and oh wow, I spent so much effort and time visiting the company management. You know, I really thought I was like first name basis with the CFO and, and the CEO and they'd taken me on the, the tour of all of the high roller floors and I had asked all the right questions about, you know, foot traffic and number of visitors and the tourism trends and I put that all into my model and how could I not love this company after doing all of that work? It was absolutely a buy. And, uh, you know, sure enough, the stock price happened to be rising throughout this period. And so it was validating my view. You know, I was so correct. <laughs> and uh, after that, we, I managed to convince the uh, portfolio managers that it was, it was worth uh, holding in the portfolio, but it didn't really stay propped up for very long. And uh, I just found that the, the emotion that gets wrapped in, up in making investment decisions can be extremely compelling. And one of the things that I really love about what we do is how we can exploit and uh, uh, build into our process ways of avoiding that behavioural bias and that falling in love with companies that can be so dangerous.